Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day. So, are you interested in achieving a sort of live 2D sort of effect on your 3D model? So basically in this example, you see that I have normal blinking, right? And if I were to smile an extreme amount, I have a sort of smile blink effect. And also as a bonus, I can have a cat mouse as well on my model, but also be able to smile normally when I'm not doing an extreme smile. And I'm going to show you how to do that without being overcomplicated. Like, no need for crazy nodes, no need crazy, no coding, no anything. Just blend shapes. That's it. Just blend shapes. Nothing crazy. Unless you see Blender as overcomplicated, then by all means, I understand that. But we're not going to over overcomplicate in that case. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to assume in this tutorial, you are already a master at creating blend shapes from scratch. You know how to make air kit blend shapes and such. If you don't know how to make air kit blend shapes, then please go to the description where all my resources are there. And please look at the tutorial that I made on how to make iPhone blend shapes. Um, there's that. Um, if by any chance uh, you don't know how to navigate Blender, this is your first time in Blender, please look up a tutorial on how to navigate Blender. I have my Dumbify Blender series that goes over kind of like basics on using Blender for like basic needs basically. So you can check out that tutorial as well. Um, or another YouTuber if you have a pr different preference on how to learn Blender. Um, if by any chance you are a Void user and you absolutely hate Blender and you never want to touch Blender ever again because Blender is a very, very overly complicated program. There's technically a way of sort of achieving this effect. Now, I'm not 100% on it, but what I can tell you, just to give you some guidance, um, if you have HANA tools, if you bought HANA tools for about 9 10 dollars, um, basically, basically what you're going to do is um, make sure you have your Void model in Unity. Make sure to put the HUD tool add-on into um, into Unity. And basically, uh, what you're going to do now, um, you're going to generate your iPhone blend shape with the HUD tool. But what you're also going to do is you're going to use another script, which I'll make sure to link in the description. Um, there is it basically generates the Vi facial blend shapes uh, for when you use the Vi VR headset for either iPro or using the Vi facial tracker for the lip tracking. And basically, uh, you're going to also use that to add extra blend shapes to your model. And there is a blend shape called the eye squeeze, um, the eye squeeze left and right. And basically, it will basically achieve the same effect I have with the um, the iPhone blend shape, except it was mainly for VR, but you can use reuse that blend shape uh, for your cheek squint left and right for iPhone. So if you want to do it the only pure Unity way, you could technically do that. But I think it only works on very beta models with the Vive blend shape. Hanatope can work on stable models. But I'm not sure about the script though uh, for the Vive facial blend shape. So you'll have to check that out and take it at your own risk. But I'm gonna show you the blender way though. But enough rambling though. I have to I have to show you exactly how to do this. And I'm going to hide my avatar so that way you can be able to see my entire screen because I'm gonna be pointing out some stuff that my character might hide. So basically, um you'll see my character here on Blender though. And basically you gotta make sure your model is in Blender. You gotta make sure that you have your Erica blend shape. And if you don't, make sure to either you can use face it to all rig your blend shape. You can use um, either high tools if you're a broid mall or just make it yourself. Uh, those are just the main three ways on making iPhone blend shapes. But the first step is to select your mesh and then find your eye blink left blend shape. And you're going to select on, you're going to basically make it one. And what you're going to do is you're going to hunt down your eye squib left blend shape. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, find it down here. So once you have that, you're also going to set that to 1 as well. And for my case, I don't have anything registered on cheat squid left. You're also going to have the shape key edit mode enabled. So if you want to do proportional tool edit for the blend shape, and basically what I'm doing here, you're going to need this on. You might have to toggle it on and off depending on what you're doing. Uh, so you can basically see your other blend shape and such. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to edit mode with a tab key. And once you're uh, on cheek squint left and you have this set up, make sure you hide your eyes. Um, so it's, it's very important. So let me just show you. So basically, you'll make sure to select your eye mesh um, with shift select and just click and drag. Control L 
and then basically you're going to hide the blood chip basically and that way you don't uh you basically will not break your eyes when you're doing the blend shapes basically but i'll make sure to click on the pin and in case you were wondering what i was doing to do this sort of thing um basically i'm pressing this little uh shape key lock so basically what this does is that if you want to see just the blend shape only like only this blend shape rather than multiple just click on this blend shape so you can see that one blend shape only rather than mixed blend shape so but i want to see mixed blend shape so Basically, I'll select this and either A, you can select, press the O key, and then basically um, click and drag to achieve your blank smile effect. If you want to prefer this method, you can. Although, for me, I don't really prefer this method, uh, but this is an option if the brushing does not work out for you or if it's too intimidating to use. Um, so you can do that. You can go to sculpt mode. And you can use a grab brush right here. So scope mode's on the top left up here. And basically you'll do grab. And then you're going to zoom out from your model. And you're going to just click and drag the vertices. Making sure that yes, your eye are hidden. Um, and boom, you're able to get that sort of blink smile effect on your model. And overall, uh, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you will achieve it. Basically it'll look like this. Um, so when it's mixed and that way it'll still work basically raw so like if you just want the blend shape only it'll look something like this where the upper eyelid is really wide like really up there and then the lower eye is uh more upper so that way it basically achieves that effect basically and um basically you can do it to the other side so just make sure you set cheek quit right to one and also eye blink right to one um there are ways, so there's technically a way to mirror it, but you can either one, uh, do it the manual way, which some people may not really like, but if your model is very asymmetrical and you can't mirror the blend shape, then this is probably more recommended to do, um, if you're a very asymmetrical model. Although technically, there is a way to sim like make your model symmetry like very symmetrical. So you can select one side of your model and then select on mesh and then symmetrize or snap to symmetry or you can use a mirror modifier uh so delete one half of your model and then just use the mirror modifier to perfectly mirror the other half of your model so you can do that or what you can do which i'll make sure i reset the blend shape you can actually actually mirror the uh the blend shape if your model is perfectly mirrored and i'll quickly show you how to do that so you're gonna go into cheek squint right go to edit mode Control v blend from shape click on this little box here type in cheek squint left and make sure the add is disabled um so that way it's just that blend shape only <clears throat> and what you're going to do is you're going to click on the arrow right here this little button here and then you're going to click on mirror shape key and that is how you mirror it although do keep in mind that if you have stuff like you know asymmetrical parts like for example i have a beauty mark here and asymmetrical lines you're going to have to edit that part so for my case i'll have to select this part of my model Control v blend from shape set this to basis so i can uh, reset that other side uh, to make sure that it is fixed up and then i just have to go ahead select on this Control v uh, reset that and then just um Basically, just move it, disable proportional tool, edit, and boom. And basically, there's that. And now they are perfectly symmetrical, and voila. And in order to basically test out your blend shapes, um, let me go ahead and quickly set up eye facial mocap on my end. And basically, uh, you're going to go into eye facial mocap panel. Uh, make sure you install the eye facial mocap add on. Happy iFacial MoCap PC um, app so that way you can send the data to Blender and then you should be able to test out the tracking and yeah boom and that's how you're able to achieve that sort of cheek squint effect and yeah overall pretty much you have made your um, blink smile effect which is really good now I will say also uh, regarding the 
regarding the cat mouse effect, I will show you how to do that. So let me go ahead and quickly, um, let me go ahead and quickly reset my facial mocap so I can make sure to, uh, pause my tracking. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first and foremost, go to my model's mouse and then I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide my teeth and tongue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once you have that selected, make sure to press the H key. Don't press the X key. H key. H to hide. And that way, um, basically what's going to happen is when you go in sculpt mode and such, or edit mode, uh, you'll be able to modify the mouth without messing with the tongue and the teeth inside the model. But you'll still be able to have the mesh there, so once you're like in object mode, you'll be able to see your stuff. Basically, you'll go on cheek squint left, make sure this is set to 1, as well as cheek squint right. Um, and basically what you're going to do is use cheek squint left, and you're going to start making your cat mouse. So just stretch out your corner mouse, and then just bend it like this, and boom. That's pretty much how you make a cat mouse. And then just raise the middle part a little bit, and you can do the same exact thing for the... Uh, cheek squint right, just kind of do the exact same thing and boom. You can also once again mirror the blend shape as well, once again click this button and just mirror shape key if you can. Um, but overall though, uh, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can be able to get the cat mouse effect and all you have to do is just, um, let me go ahead and just click on wait for connection and boom, that's how you get the effect. And uh, you do have to, I would recommend um, on iFacial mocap or face motion 3D, please adjust your motion weights. Uh, it's in the gear setting or the settings of the app. Uh, go to adjust motion weights and then you have to adjust uh, the value on how heavy the blend shapes are. So for cheek squint, I set my value to two, to the number 2. You might want to have it higher depending on your case basically. Uh, for iFacial mocap, I have it set to default value. But for face motion 3D, I have it set to 2.0 just, just because... Um, testing purposes but overall um just mess with the motion weights and you'll be able to have the proper cheek squint that you want and yeah overall um that's pretty much how you achieve the effect and yeah uh let me know if you have any other questions i have my discord uh tag so you can add me on discord if you need some help or you can comment down on the uh video and i'd be happy to help you out and um yeah, and I also have my other social. I'll make sure the video edit here. And yeah, um, if that's if hopefully that should cover everything. And yeah, like a, a reminder, I have other tutorials uh, regarding iPhone blend shapes and such. So if you really need to check that out, go ahead. And all the resources are in the description, so you can go ahead and download them or just click on the link and you know check it out. So that way it should help you out on your 3D journey. And yeah, with that being said though, um, have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, 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 everyone. Have a good day. Bye, bye, bye.